when it's playable because of an item or rune they nerf the item or the rune nah not ex they actually nerf the champion when Sheikah becomes playable because of an item they're gonna nerf their champion look back to duskblade to, for a whole two seasons last seasons duskblade being the reason why Sheikah was still somewhat playable and i would always point that out what did they do they nerfed Sheikah then they nerfed Sheikah again and then they nerfed Sheikah again and then they nerfed Duskblade and compensate buffed every other uh, assassin like Kha'Zix, Ringer, etc. And Shaker? It's Shaker, dude. Let's not buff him. We compensate buff any other assassin because we nerfed Duskblade, but we're not gonna even buff Shaker for that. Even so they were nerfing Shaker prior to that, and we see every patch. Even so the reason why Shaker was so strong was because of Duskblade. Like, where do you think I get most of- Oh, fuck, I got jungle runes. Where do you think I get most of my damage as Shaker if I ever even get to deal damage? It's the Thunder Lord. That's where most of my damage comes from. Like, every time, you know, I'm gonna go on to get, engage onto a champion to Q, backstab, use my E, that's like half of all my ability set no damage as soon as i do my third hit and thunder lord procs boom whoa wait did that enemy just take damage wait shaker deals damage nope it's, uh, it's still ruined it's not shaker it's the run so sad dude. and then you have thunder lord dealing damage or like shaker deals so much damage time to nerf his e even more <laughs> God, that was so awful. People play like this and then they're like, Riot! Riot! Nerf Shaco! Riot! They misplay like this. And they're like, OP champion, dude! Nerf it! <laughs> what do I go for? I gotta highlight that. That was clean old play from me, dude. It was totally not the Galio being a dumbass. That was all me, dude. Actually, that wasn't even me. That was the broken champion that I'm playing. That's why I won that. Easy. Abusing broken ass Shaker, man. Easy game. Oh, fuck. Do I ever last at a cannon ever in this game? Dude, I burp. See, like hiccups, burp, hiccup. Something is really fucked with my digestive system. Darwin, you dumbass. You fucking monkey, dude. You fucking. Uh... And then he taxes all my CS. Go fuck yourself. That was an easy fucking kill. Your head looks funny. Your fucking name. Fuck you, dude. The fuck do you mean? Can you stop hating on me dude? I'm insecure. Comments like that really hurt my confidence level.
there was tower and ignite yeah the tower and ignite did all the damage and this guy is gonna be like phew insane shaker damage wow You're almost bald. The fuck are you guys talking about, dude? Show map, no tanks mate, try to go to another stream. <laughs> Dude, people that say, people that complain about the minimap being hidden or even like requesting to to show the minimap. My first thought is instantly, yep, this guy is probably trying to ghost. He's probably in this game. And I say, no, fuck you. If that's the case. Wow, I damn it. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, that was kinda... That was kinda yikes. That's pretty yikes, not gonna lie. I'm AP Shaker King, dude. Fuck all of you. Fuck all of you, okay? Just because I never play AP Shaker ever since season 7 changes. Oh, I mean, somewhat played him in season 7. But I haven't played him that much over these last seasons, right? People be like, well, Shaker, you know, Shaklon uh, plays AD sh uh, plays Tank Shaker, uh, Chase plays him AD Shaker. And Pink Ward plays AP, dude. People don't know about my early days. They don't know. They don't know, dude. They don't know who I am. Just in case you didn't know, AP Shaker was how I got to Diamond first time, season three or season four. Okay, I wasn't even playing Jungle Shaker back then. The way I got into Shaker was AP Shaker mid lane, dude. It just I stopped playing when they fucked up my playstyle about major changes. And then they usually removed the FG. I was still playing when they removed the FG in season 5. But then season 6 I kinda of focused more on Jungle Shaker, I guess, way more. But when I really stopped playing AP Shaker was Shaker changes and the rune changes. I mean, kind of became unplayable at that point for me. Still, still is compared to what it used to be, but if I want to, I can make it work. But it's just, you know, it's just not good enough, dude. Or not fun enough, not, not as what it used to be. Like the old clone burst, the E burst. You know? I can still make these plays happen, but it just isn't the same, man. Not for me. 
The old runes like the rune chain just throw me off more than the shaker chain this evening. Somewhat. I loved it when you were doing weird as fuck builds. I still do weird as fuck builds. I built fucking knights well on shake to jungle, dude. Like, give me a good AD carry or any carry, dude. Give me a good player. I go my specific support style jungle shaker, build knights for second, third item, and then boom. Get four drakes within 20 minutes. Easy game. But yeah, the game. God, it's so bad, dude. Like, I'm just not gonna play jungle shaker till this quarantine shit is over, actually. I'm actually just rarely play AD shaker. Or, like, the, the specific playstyle I do, you know? Because as of now, it's so bad. Like, so many games I'm gonna do really good, get my teammates fed, but people just don't know shit about how to kill. Me. They just don't know how to play, dude. I can get them so ahead and they don't know how to kill, me, you know? Like, there's too many boosted people around. It just are just so random. So once once everything comes down and you have proper people, especially if I start waking up early, that's where people the try hard people play. That's where the good players play. So if I wake up early, I'm gonna get back to the try hard cycle and do the usual Knights of Shaker. If it's if, if it does work. I'm guessing it's more about the the time I play in the day than you know the, like the timing than than anything else. But man, like if I play in midnight, I'm gonna get like I swear so many games I get my AD carry 10 kills and he doesn't know how to carry. I'm like, are you fucking do you have do you have a parasite in your head? It's hindering you from You know what I mean? Like how do you how do you lose that? You get 10 kills and you don't know how to carry? What the fuck? Especially as 80 kill. So I'm just, these games I'm just playing for fun, you know? I'm not really playing to win. If I want to play to win, it wouldn't be what, I wouldn't be playing middle lane shape. It is just for fun stuff. So yeah, when you say weird as fuck builds, do you mean try hard builds where I'm being actually serious? Like the Knights of Astralis that might seem as a serious build. It's not a troll. Or like for fun build, you know? Do you mean like weird builds as in for fun builds? Or like actually consistently, you know, builds that consistently make you win? Like dude, wait. Wait, while I'm while I'm at it, what, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys just prefer just for fun gameplay and diamond all day? Just playing in diamond hardstock all day? Play AP Shaker mid lane and just have fun good time? Or do you prefer me try harding, playing serious? Which might be more boring because it's more macro play than mechanical, like this kind of highlights. It's less of that and more just boring macro play. Just clearing objectives and shit. And try hard, maybe even no cam, no mic, actually climbing to challenger? Or do you prefer just diamond gameplay just for fun mid lane shaker? And just fun old plays? I'm more and more having the idea that people just don't give a fuck about you hitting challenger. People just want to see fun gameplay. I mean, if I look back at my older videos and the fact that I was... Like, especially during season 6, right? I barely peaked Master, but I was for the most time Diamond, but that's where I had the most viewers and shit, because I was just playing for fun stuff, just having a good time. I feel like that's what people want to see in, in League. They, they don't give a fuck about tryhard streams. There are some, but not, your, not, not the majority. Like, even, even if you hit Challenger, people, I feel like people would rather see you play in Diamond for fun, etc., than see you play in, uh, in Challenger. Am I wrong? Yeah. 
why can't you try hard with Cam and Mike? I mean, the answer is in your question. Because more distraction and Cam and Mike, I'm gonna have lower uh, uh, delay than I would need. Like, if I'm gonna play jungle, I. That's another thing. If I'm gonna stream playing this game, I'm gonna play lane shaker. And then maybe cover the cam so my jungler doesn't get ghosted. But don't expect me to play jungle without at least two minutes more. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh my god, dude. Why did they... Oh, the, the new Galio all change. Now it gives them a shield. I fucking forgot about that. Fucking bullshit. They, they buffed Galio. So fucking bullshit, man. When was the double kill play over here? Eight minutes, something like that. I fucking lagged over there, didn't I? I couldn't move. I swear, I did QE, my E didn't work, and then he got ult off. Get him, box. So, yeah, what do you guys prefer? Challenger gameplay, climbing, try hard? Or for fun mid lane diamond shake. Fun out place. for top one EUS yeah but like again the question is not about what would you like to see the question is what would you rather want to sit and watch what type of gameplay no cam no mic try hard going for challenger playing in challenger or cam and mic having a good time playing in diamond Just fucking hearts like diamond if you want so and more Fun, funny stuff like AP Shaker and just, you know? I'm not talking about what would you want to see. Do you want to see me hit rank 1? I'm talking about what would you spend more time watching? What's, what sounds more fun for you to watch? Like if you ask what's more fun for me, I, I don't mind it. Either way can be fun for me. It also depends like how I feel. Sometimes I like to do tryhard streams, sometimes Cam and Mike. Dude, I'm lagging. Why are my my abilities not working? Do you see the pink spike? Yo, what is going on? Now my FPS is getting fucked. Nice.
I should go second tree precision. I feel like, dude, like, if you wanna deal sh damage with Shaker, you need fucking Sunder Lord. Like, Comet, it just isn't good enough. I don't know, Comet sucks, man. Like, you would think that's the best for lane Shaker? I, just, I don't know, Comet sucks. So it's Sunder Lord and then second tree precision so you can get that bonus damage. This is for general, this is not even the right runes. How are you not tilted by dropping to D3? Because I peak Challenger, I don't give a fuck. If I hadn't hit Challenger, I would have probably been really fucking mad over it. But the fact that I did hit Challenger before the drop happened, and also it was kind of expected. It's been the last times, the last two times I hit Challenger, it was the same shit. As soon as I hit Challenger and it speaks around, basically I don't win one game after that because it's a ton of win trade games. Not all of them, sure, some of those games were my fault. There's also a lot, like, that's, again, the same time this quarantine shit happened, so I was lagging a lot myself during that time. And the game hasn't been played, Solik hasn't been playable for a month now, because of this quarantine shit. So there's a lot of things to blame, but once all this shit comes down, I'm pretty sure I can get back to Challenger. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit Challenger at least one more time this season, and maybe even finish Challenger this season. There's potential, I could definitely do that. So I'm not mad over it because one, I hit Challenger. Two, I saw it coming. It's not the first time this this trend happened. This is basically the same shit. And third, I know I can get back. Once the timing is, you know, once the time, once it's the right time for it. Once this quarantine shit comes down. So... Considering all of that, there is no reason for me to tilt over the drop, dude. I don't care. Even if I drop to D4 now, even if I fucking drop out of diamond right now, I, I don't care. Dark Harvest for AP Shika? Nah, dude. Like, I didn't touch Dark Harvest. As soon as they hotfix nerfed it, as soon as they, after they introduced the rune. It was maybe a little on the stronger side, but then they gutted it, and they haven't really buffed it or changed anything about it since then. Like, two seasons ago, one and a half seasons ago, and... What the fuck's going on? But, yeah. Like, especially for lane shaker, maybe it could be playable for jungle shaker, but for lane shaker, he, he can only have use of it if he is low enough. Nah, dude, it sucks. Are you injuring the game still, or because of the routine or something? Dude, if I wasn't injuring the game at all, I wouldn't be pl playing it, okay? Like, as much as I complain about this fucking game, I do still injure it. If I didn't injure it at all, I wouldn't be playing it. I do, I do go play other games when I burn out, when I'm really fucking tilted from League. But then I keep coming back to it, because why? I enjoy the game, I'm good at it. You know? Everyone enjoys something that they're good at it. Everyone enjoys winning. And it's just, there isn't many, uh, many other games that has the same competitiveness as Leaf. Like, just because I miss old Leaf doesn't mean I'm not gonna enjoy this Leaf version whatsoever. It's still, it's still enjoyable. It's just, it could be or used to be so much more fun. But that's my subjective opinion, dude.
job is so impressive. Come on, man! Don't have teleport. Nice. Could have been really bad if they had teleport. Did I stop burping to the mic? Is it disgusting if I do that? You find that disgusting? I'm fine with it. Is QC literally farts into the mic? At least I wouldn't do that. What's more disgusting, a fart or a bulb? Wait, was that my damage? He's almost dead. What the fuck? I got damage. The fuck, Mike? I actually have damage. That makes sense. Wow, Pazmus. Nice champion. Do you guys prefer late night streams like late into the evening streams or early morning streams? I feel like late evening streams... I don't know, I'm, I just... I feel like I'm in a better mood than late evening if anything. 
Yeah, so I would prep for to stream early morning, which I don't know. Something about it being dark outside just gives me a better mood, you know what I mean? That's why my sleep schedule probably gets fucked all the time because Angie stay up late at night. Holy fuck, I'm used to it. Your voice helped me fall asleep. Okay. I wouldn't say I have a soothing voice, but it helps you. Yeah. 